here's the thing. This ground is really not very friendly. And if I were to puncture my feet, I could get an infection, I could get a parasite that would put me way out of commission and compromise my survival significantly. Despite being tremendously thirsty, making shoes is another safety-first approach. This looks like a good spot. After all, going lame before finding water would be very bad news indeed. I have no idea what I'm doing. I am making each step up as I go along, hoping that eventually this will be a wearable pair of feet protectors. But quite honestly, I have no idea. Now, a long time ago, people discovered that leather was a great thing to make shoes out of. I'm going for a Roman sandal type thing. Me too. As it happens, not long ago, in fact, we made a duct tape boat, and we found when we were working with it that it was very, very similar to leather. So that means that duct tape is actually a perfect material to make shoes out of. I'm getting cautiously optimistic about these. Because of the tape's leather-like qualities, the sandals take shape fast. You remember what it used to be like in the summer when you got a new pair of sneakers? <laughs> you'd run really fast at the end of the lawn, and you'd run back again, and you'd go, Mom, look how fast these shoes corner. This isn't going to be like that. <laughs> Despite the heat and the dehydration, the guys cobble their way through rips, twists, look at that, instant rope, and turns. Dude, check it out. Those look great. Until both sets of shoes are all set. Well, my shoes are completed. They're light, they're comfy. I'm not sure exactly how well they're going to hold up, but the best part about their being made of duct tape is it doesn't matter. They're infinitely repairable. New season of Mythbusters premieres Sunday at 9, only on Discovery.